Hello and welcome everyone to yet another success story from Wood Infinity. Today we are joined with Ayush. He will be sharing about his success journey. Uh, so Ayush, first of all, congratulations on the same. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so why don't you, you know, tell us about your early education and you know how you got interested in data science? Yeah. Yeah. So I come from Dehradun. I belong to Dehradun. I did my initial schooling and then I did my engineering from Dehradun only. And then I did my MBA from Hyderabad, from okay. IMT Hyderabad. Mm -hmm. After that, I got into the corporate world. I did uh, did some roles in the product product domain also. I worked mm -hmm. in sales also and branding also. Okay. Then when the the thing is that when the lockdown struck, so obviously mm -hmm. we all were at home, you know, maybe uh, doing our work or exploring new opportunities or something like that. So there I, you know, uh, thought that, you know, you should uh, start with exploring some new skills or upskill yourself because, you know, plenty of time to have. So no, I'm done. So then I started exploring some courses from uh, the internet for, you know, up upskilling myself. There, then I came across SQL and uh, Python. And mm -hmm. I learned uh, a bit of SQL also and Python also from Udemy. I did okay. some and there I got interested in uh, the field of data science that was the first time where I felt that spark that you know that this uh, is something which I want to do hmm. after that I continued with my job and uh, like in uh, mid mid of 2021 I started searching for some platforms which might you know uh, be able to teach me more about the field of analytics more about the field of data because I uh, I was pretty sure at that time that I wanted to pursue this field only. Hmm. So there I came across Board Infinity. I researched a lot about the best, uh, you know, companies, tech companies or tech companies who offer these uh, type of courses in the field of analytics and data hmm. and machine learning. So I came across Board Infinity and uh, it was well reviewed. I saw that most of the reviews uh, were above four uh, out of five. And so I researched a lot. I talked to some people. I talked to uh, people in Board Infinity itself. And then I enrolled uh, in Board Infinity for the course of data science okay. in 2021, late 2021, okay. in, uh, in November. In November. So, so there my year back, yeah. Yeah, around a year back. So there my journey started with uh, analytics as well as Board Infinity. Mm -hmm. And uh, there I, I was exposed to many courses, many modules like SQL, Python, Advanced Excel, Tableau, Power BI, which is like the most, these are the most advanced skills mm -hmm. and uh, most required skills that any data professional might know and should know. So there yeah. I was exposed to the exposed to these, the basics of these skills. And uh, the coaches there are in the in board infinity are like very purpose driven and they like to uh, solve the basic of uh, basic questions also. Like they hmm. like to go to the root level of the problem. So that is a very good thing. So hmm. my coach uh, in the module uh, which I have learned was uh, Coach Arun, Coach Arun Ravi. And he was like uh, very instrumental in like shaping up my knowledge in the field of data analytics. And right. I gained a lot, a lot of long knowledge from him, a lot of fine points about, you know, how to go ahead with data, with data creating dashboards, uh, solving Python problems, basic Python problems, which might lead to, you know, complex uh, problems also in machine learning also. There I, I was exposed to that. Now okay. coming to... The so, field uh, of you know, yeah. before, uh, going proceeding forward with that. So, which uh, you know subject you find that was the toughest, and which one do you find the easiest, right? So, Python SQL, the batare you had studied at one level, right? So, how was experience with other subjects? In kismay sabse zada maza hai. So, uh, I I had a lot of fun in SQL. Okay. Yeah, because you know you can see SQL may you can see that you know you have these particular uh, databases. Mm -hmm. And it's it's like a real, those all are like real world problems which you get exposed to. Okay, like this is a da HR database, you have to, uh, you know, sort out the employees who earn the maximum in each department. That's a particular query which comes in like uh, basic, uh, it's a basic question which comes in like most of the uh, right. exams or tests which you give, even in the in mock interviews and all. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a real world problem because you uh, sometimes in companies also you need to find the best performer 
right. of, in all the departments. So SQL, I, find, I found very interesting and I enjoyed doing SQL problems the most. Mm-hmm. obviously see people coming from non-tech background i'm i'm from an engineering background so right. maybe not me exactly but like people coming from commerce or people coming from arts or humanities so they also if they have a knack for numbers or if they have a knack for you know deducing small things from data or solving uh, uh, problems then they would also find that uh, SQL right. is uh, like a very helpful tool and a very good tool to not only professionally, but also to increase your critical thinking. Mm-hmm. So to answer your question, SQL would be the best, uh, uh, you know, the module which I found the most uh, enjoyable also and the most uh, fruitful also for me. All right. So you're saying uh, because of BTEC, right, you had some familiarity. So like, uh, had you done it in computer science or from any other? No, I had not done it in computer science, okay. but like uh, a simple level of coding okay. exposure to, because I uh, I was exposed to MATLAB also. I was mm-hmm. exposed to C in my coming year, in my upcoming years in right. engineering also. So that I knew a little bit. Right. And then there was a gap also, right? Uh, with your engineering, with your MBA and the job. Yes, 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 exactly. Oh, yeah, right. so so those uh, those were the fine points, you know, hmm. which maybe uh, uh, the new learners, which uh, can get them exposed to. But okay. e- even if someone wants to, you know, join the field of data science, he or she should know that uh, you should join only if you want to like achieve something in this field. Hmm. Don't join because... Uh, people around you are joining right because right. many people think uh, think of this as you know the the new hot uh, hot bed of opportunities but that is not exactly like it because yes it is yes it is because the field of data is expanding but right. moreover it is something which even if you want then then only you would be able to yeah, definitely easily. right even if multiple jobs are there right but if it is not the right fit for you then obviously there are going to be clashes and you won't be able to crack it ahead right so you told us about your learning journey right so what all projects did you made and how was your uh, placement preparation was like so uh, i was exposed to like many projects like starting mm-hmm. from python also then sql also uh, and then it continued with machine learning and tableau so mm-hmm. The uh, projects which I gained a lot of learning were from Python itself, Python and machine learning. So Mm -hmm. one example which I can give you was uh, this particular project in Python, which uh, we got like, uh, this was a Mintra database. So they Mm -hmm. have like this catalog of all these products. And uh, you have to find the factors on which people, the buying factors which people consider before buying any product from Mintra or uh, for namesake, any any other shopping mm-hmm. app. Okay, so the major factors you have to deduce all the uh, data and you have to you know gain insights from it. For example, at the end of my project, so I uh, I deduced that there were three to four major factors. So one was okay. price, the other was color, then there was brand also, which brand the uh, company is from. Uh, it is, uh, you know, which brand the company offers. And then there were other factors uh, such as the in uh, the price point of the product also, which was the major factor in this. Mm-hmm. So it was like project, it, uh, it involved like many aspects of Python, like a data cleaning, right. data modification. Then you have to prepare charts and graphs using uh, different libraries in Python, like mm-hmm. Matplotlib, then Seaborn. And then you also have to use pandas and uh, pandas to, you know, filter out the data, right. the specific data that you want. So all these were incorporated in, in, in the Python projects. Even the data visualization was there in Matplotlib right. and Seaborn also. Then other projects in, were in like Tableau. So Tableau, we have to prepare this particular data, uh, dashboard of shop sales. Hmm. And you know if you have to build a dashboard then you have to take uh, care of many parameters like who is the most uh, performing salesperson in, in your particular store right. which which store in the particular uh, geographic area is the most profitable revenue generating store so you have to uh, represent all that data and along with it you have to represent it on a chart or a graph an interactive graph not only uh, a simple graph interactive graph 
So right. those were the projects uh, which I uh, quite enjoyed while uh, you know my journey with Code Infinite. Amazing, all right. And so now you have the knowledge. Now you have the you know projects as well. That is your portfolio. So now, how did you approach for the job market? Right? How, how was that journey? How many companies you applied into, and what was the learning from there? So uh, I was applying to companies like uh, obviously up, uh, after the completion of the, all the modules and the placement mm -hmm. training started. Then I started applying for the companies. The job roles came. And uh, yeah, I started preparing by, uh, you know, mostly people think that uh, Python and SQL are the most important uh, aspects of their data science or data analytics. Yes, they are. But apart from that, uh, you, you also need to know the basics of uh, the data visualization tools also and uh, okay. Excel also, because Excel is like the basic from where you start. Okay. So those I prepared, those I started preparing, and then I started giving, um, you know, applying for companies. I also gave some interviews. In some interviews, I was, uh, you know, I I think that I was not able to do well because I was not prepared at that level mm -hmm. to give the interviews. But it like gave me a lot of knowledge, a lot of you know background background about what the interviewer might ask, Thank because you. obviously. Yeah, people can prepare you for the interviews, but yeah, the real feel that comes when you are sitting in front of the interviewer himself or herself, then it gives you quite a lot of knowledge about what you might expect. Hmm. Definitely, you know, we uh, see that, you know, learners are typically very eager to you know jump onto the interviews and definitely you know see as an organization we always tell them that you know first prepare well right because unless and until you are prepared well then the interview experience is going to be very negative right if you are at a certain level and then even if you're not selected right then it's a good learning for you that okay you know these are the key areas i need to improve but jumping uh to the pool before knowing swimming that is uh, dangerous yeah that right. is what we suggest typically to the learners right so what was your temperament uh, like during those interview and then you know finally about your current selection as well you know how how many rounds were there and how was that experience yeah so uh coming to the whole process of the interview uh so the main thing was preparedness how well prepared are you for the interview so my mm -hmm. temperament uh in the aspect of communication was good but mm -hmm. uh the improving factor the key factor which i needed to improve was my uh touch on the basics mm -hmm. of uh like maybe python also and sql also the basic questions which anybody might ask okay. and here i would like to mention coach uh, prashant kumar who was taking all mm -hmm. the mock interviews so he uh, you know asked a lot a lot of basic questions a lot of questions which comes in interviews and they help uh, me a lot to prepare for mm -hmm. the upcoming interviews and uh, like i gained a lot of uh, you know uh, questions from him also the basic questions okay. which might be asked so here i would like to mention him also and yeah, so then when this opportunity came with uh, Amazon as the campaign manager, so here I was, uh, I gave almost like uh, three uh, rounds of interview with three different people. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, the first was mainly the introduction round telling uh, you about the company itself and the profile itself. Right. And the second was with the other team member who was uh, overlooking all the uh, aspects of the project itself. And the mm -hmm. third was with the team lead okay, uh, who was uh, like overseeing all these uh, things from outside also, as well as in India also. So okay. there were three rounds and uh, like people, they also asked me that, you know, uh, you have these experiences in data, you have these experiences in branding also. So obviously, so the thing is that there were many, uh, the uh, interviewer also told me that they, there were like uh, other candidates beside me in the interview also, some people ha having 15 years of experience also. Mm -hmm. And uh, here I was having around uh, three and three and a half year experience. So yeah, okay. it also happens. And, uh, you know, uh, that also happens that, you know, maybe not, they are not looking for experience only, they are looking for something else, mm -hmm. they are looking for clarity of also they are looking for how motivated the person is so anything right. which helps you to crack this interview it's not like a fixed uh, set of things which you can just stick it is an overall uh, approach to how well you know about yourself and how well do you know about the profile which you are applying for so i think that that is very important 
all right uh, so you know closing this uh, you know round with you uh, so any word of advice for your fellow learners who are currently in their learning journey and they are preparing for that for their dream job right any words of advice for them so advice is like that and not not advice because advice would sound a little more you know on, on a higher level but yeah i mean uh, we all know that uh, today like uh, around 5 6 months ago also the market situations are not that good right the companies are not hiring at that scale which they have hired in the past in even in the past year and things are uh, like not that good but situations are improving maybe in the next year in the next three, uh, one or two months or three months or so the situations will improve and yeah i mean uh, as far as my experience goes uh, it has been good with board very good with board infinity because each and every query has been resolved very well the the board infinity team uh, from the coaches to the to the hr people to the program managers itself they have been very supporting they have been very forward with uh, presenting opportunities even if the opportunities are not as much as they were to be i mean right. uh, uh, because of the market but yeah they are they have interacted with uh, with a very enthusiastic approach and obviously they have shared as many opportunities as they can with me and they have supported me like on every step like i used to receive you know, on the day of the interview i used to receive two to three calls like hmm. from the program manager to uh, and they wanted to know how well was the interview and before the interview that uh, what is how is your preparedness do you need any assistance with the interview like a mock a mock interview or a mock session so hmm. i uh, the uh, last thing i would like to say is that uh, uh, do give your best for any interview that you prepare and uh, have faith in the market also have faith in board infinity also because i think that they are doing as best as they can now and obviously they are with you they are here to provide you assistance in every need of your interview also and the opportunities that they they are going to provide to you just have faith on them and uh, obviously then you can achieve whatever you put your mind to great all right so thanks a lot for your time ayush once again congratulations and i hope your story uh, would help learner inspire and prepare well for them and to summarize it right uh, students stay uh, you know patient and stay resilient and eventually things will go well thanks a lot again for yeah. joining yeah thank you take care yeah thank you